Today's New Year's Eve. Haven't been down the shed for about a week and a half, so I have to regroup and see where I'm up to. And um, yeah, have a bit of a clean up. But I did have a decent clean up in the shed and I put these um, these wicked speakers in here. So I should be able to crank up the tunes and keep myself entertained while I'm uh, doing the bike. But anyway, I'll peel the cover off and have a look and see what we can do. I think the time's come to put the headlights back in the bike. So I'll uh, pull these apart, make a good set out of the, uh, the two pairs that I have and then fit them onto the bike will make it look a bit more complete. This appears to be the best set. Um, something's going on with the um, support for the light back here. So this one doesn't rock around. But the housing for this guy has got a massive crack in it. So I'm going to have to use this plastic bit and try and make it work so the, the light doesn't flop around like this. To pull the lights apart, I need to obviously back these adjusters off. They go through this um, geared assembly here so you can adjust it from outside the bike a bit easier. They were all seized up so what I ended up doing was uh, unbolted this assembly here on the one that I'm going to use and um, sprayed some CRC in, freed it all up and I was able to pull it apart so I got the light out. I can see why the light rattles around on this one which is this part here is all worn. So I'll strip the set down with the cracked housing and um, yeah, rub off the, the pieces that I need. Here's the adjuster mechanism that I was mentioning. Um, so basically this part here was very tight on this side so I was able to just use a pair of pliers to, to free it up without stressing out the, uh, the, the plastic gears I suppose in this part. There's the housing that I'm going to use. It's all stripped down. I'll clean that up. Uh, I'll rip this guy apart, steal the parts out that I need, like this little mounting point in here. And um, yeah, we'll have a look what all the parts look like, all clean, and then I'll put it back together. I've picked the best two beams to put back into the headlight housing. Um, they started out looking like this, the, the good ones, and with a little bit of polish, they came up like that. So I'll clean the other guy up and uh, I'll assemble it into the housing. The little mounting tags that uh, fasten the, the beam to the headlight adjusting screws, they're all rusty. So I'm going to pull these uh, nylon parts out, wire brush carefully the, um, the heavy stuff off, and then I'm going to use the Ranex again to try and neutralise the rust and put some paint on it, because uh, then they'll all be nice and happy. They're not going to rust anymore and cause any grief. While I'm waiting for the Ranex to treat the headlight rim, I'm going to have a crack at fitting this master cylinder for the clutch. So it's all damaged, broken, corroded, whatnot. Uh, we'll pull it apart like we did on the front brake master cylinder and build the lever as well. I've, I've got an outer part of the lever which should uh, replace this broken bit. So I took off all the old stuff like the other master cylinder I've done. And here's what we got left with. Pretty cool looking master cylinder with, um, with a second hand lever that I had. I'll probably change them for the shorties later, but uh, hopefully it fits on the bike. So it fit it on. Just enough clearance to fit it between the switch block and the end of the clip on. But where this runs the choke cable on the standard switch gear, it's uh, right in the wrong spot. So I'm going to have to cut that little bit of uh, choke cable housing off. And... Um, then it should fit on perfect. So I've ground the uh, housing that holds the choke cable and uh, it actually melted the plastic into the into the hole and sealed the switch block off so that was pretty lucky. I'll see if it gives me the clearance I need. Now with that little part of the switch block removed I've got uh, heaps of room for the hose to be mounted. The rusty parts of the headlights started out like this. I treated them with the Ranex, 
So now all the rust has been neutralized. Uh, that's about the worst of it. So I will paint them with the rust proof paint or the rust killing paint and they'll be good. So they've been primed just with the rattle can stuff. Just gear here. And now put the paint on. I'll use this pewter stuff because it's not black and it'll disappear in the headlight area. Plus it's what I've got kicking around the shed. Now that they've all been painted, I'll put them into the headlight housing. While I'm waiting for those headlight repairs to dry, I'll give the old starter motor a bit of a clean. So we'll give that a crack, get all that crap off it. And then I'm gonna use this uh, container to stick it out in the sun so I can dry the primer without all the bugs and dirt sticking in it. It's a hot day, but it's really quite windy outside. I've given it a quick sand down. I'll uh, hit it with the primer, put it in my container there and whack it out in the sun. So there it is in its container, all dust free. Um, it's in the middle of a big sandy backyard, so that'll protect it and it'll be dry in no time because it's probably 35 degrees outside now. So there they are, all ready to go. I'll bolt them up to the bike and it will have its eyeballs back in. The black's on the starter motor, I'll put it in its little box and stick it out in the sun and I'll bolt that on the Savo. Once again, back out in all the dirt and sand and flies, but it'll do the trick. So there it is with the headlights mounted. Definitely got the ZXR look now. So they look quite good in there. Rightio, so I'll wait for that starter motor to dry and then I'll be able to fit that, which I've actually got to pull the front sprocket cover and everything else off because I forgot to put it on the first time. Anyway, next up will be starter motor mounting and then the GPS antenna.